I didn't disconnect. No, no, I didn't. <laughs> Work. The sound of this top of the line finely tuned sports car about to pass you like a tide on a ride to stand and stay. I know you ain't just called me a tide on a ride. Nah, 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 nah. I was just messing with you. We good? Good. Because I was going to teach you a little bit about respect. Yeah, right. You get at it on the court. That's what we do. I wonder if it's going to start me over from the beginning. <laughs> I think it is. Oh, man. I got to delete that video now. I mean, what video? There was never a video. I didn't. This isn't happening again. <laughs> I did not mess up. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> Thunderwall will right. stop on their travel schedule in today's match. They're among the league's powerhouse teams, presently in second place oh. in the West. Well, hey. this is one-sided as a season series can get, Clark. I mean, all three games they've won, they can make it a sweet period with this one. I think they would love nothing more than to do that. Uh, oh. He has a highlight reel unto himself, guys. <laughs> Here's Dawkins. He had a 39 point outing in the last game against the Nuggets in Denver. He used that pass. Hey, nice. Coach Scott Brooks, the defender, has brought great stability to this organization. A lot of talent on this roster, but doesn't always fit in terms of their offensive flow. So the uh, defender like to keep it pretty simple with their X's and O's. A three ball. Aha! Aha! Right you better calm and yourself down, buddy. I was getting prepared to oh. Oh. Durant's got a <laughs> There's a chance he could have a big game if they don't D him up more tightly on the perimeter. Last uh, 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 Here's Dawkins. He dishes it to Burks. Favors sets the bid for Burks. Oh, okay. Woo! <laughs> We can do it too. <laughs> ah! <laughs> they cannon. They cannon. Looking at Oklahoma City, they want to turn it around after the loss to the San Antonio Spurs. And one of the factors in that game is they just couldn't get to the foul line and get points from the free throw line to make a difference. Oh, I thought that was my foul. To be perfectly honest, I was willing to take that. Well, what an incredible journey it's been for Serge Ibaka. Growing up in the Congo during the terrible Civil War, the tragic loss of his mom to a stroke, the street so unsafe that she couldn't leave the home to go to a hospital. To go from that to where he is now, an indescribable contrast and an amazing story. Burks, and again, ah. she tried. Three out of four from the floor, so a good start for this club. The Thunder have gone two or three here to start out the game. It's Westbrook with the drive, <laughs> and it's blocked by Flavors. Oh, you can not save it better than that. <laughs> All it took is a jump and put it behind. Over and over since the break, he's proven why he's always fun to watch. He's around 22 points per game, eight rebounds, and better than two and a half steals. I'll tell you what, he's been oh. scary good with that run of games. So instead of a two, we gave him a three. Great. Awesome. <laughs> and Steve, you know that's not easy to do considering the high level he already plays at on an everyday basis. To move the needle another notch higher, especially. Oh, wow. I missed the screen. Now, here's Brooks. Defense right on him. Passes it to Ingles. A three ball. And the Jazz. Nice. And Ibaka planned as a youth to escape the Congo and find a way to provide for his family. Well, and it's a big family, too. He's the third youngest of 18 brothers and sisters. Pretty incredible. Wow. Now he's not just helping them, but he's making a, a huge difference for thousands of people 
throughout Africa, supporting orphanages, hospitals, schools. I mean, what great work Ibaka is doing. They set the pick. Ingles passes to Dawkins. Favors with a screen on West. Dawkins picks the Favors. Ah, where's that pick and roll, Maestro? For sure, it was a good decision, just poor execution. And that one's good. Dang. West looks at his first two points. Beautiful job angling his body, shielding the big man from the ball on his way to the basket. That's really the only way to do it if you're going to take it down there among the tall trees. Dawkins kicks to Burks. Pass to Dawkins. Oh! Shoot from the baseline. And it falls. Kevin Durant, you know you've made it in the NBA. Reports of those two have a bit of a friendly rivalry with them. I'm not sure you want to give KD any reason to go farther than you or your team. Uh -huh. Congrats to him for making enough noise in the NBA with the stars have started to take notice of it. And with the way he's burst out of the NBA scene with his play, I have to think this upcoming summer will be a long one for him. He'll be high on a lot of teams' free agency lists. Well, teams might have... Missed on him or passed on him during the draft, but I don't think they'll make that mistake again with him hitting free agency. Give me that. Oh, not enough. To the wing on the left, has to dunk. Three pointer, and the Jazz have another three. That's why you have to stay alert on defense. It's Westbrook with the oh! Wow, this has been a thriller. I mean, the way these teams are battling, just going back and forth. Would you like to bet that this game may end on a buzzer beater? How much would you bet? Pass to Ingles. Oh, this is at the Brooks. Okay. Pass to Dawkins. Shoots the three. Ah. Oh, good rebound, bro. Good rebound. As soon as I saw how far my bar is with the middle of the line, I knew I was getting this back. So, no one in clear control yet. I think both teams feel like they can win. They both have confidence. Uh, so, we'll see which team can kind of ride the momentum and take control of this game. Oops. Westbrook kicks to Roberson for the three. Ooh, Ooh my goodness. The ramp is hot today. He's mad that I called him an old, <laughs> old car, man. That's why they were year in and year out so tough to handle. From past the arc. And there's the foul on Rudy Gobert. That is his first foul of the game. Well, I love okay, the fact he's fighting hard on the boards, but you know, you got to be smart too. Over the back, that's an easy call there. Well, that's simply the result of uh, poor position on the board. I wish I could hit those. But at least you can't fault him for being passed if he was trying to be aggressive. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, you slow your roll. <laughs> Outside your hand. That's the free fly. Oh, when did I? Okay. Here's Dawkins. He has five. On the best angles. Here's Dawkins. It's the best point five. Dawkins has got eight. He's got a bite the quarter here, guys. I mean, shooting the ball extremely well. Now it's sent it over to Doris Burke, who was able to talk with Scott Brooks. Well, fellas, we're undefeated so far in the season series, so nothing to worry about, right? Well, that's not the style. He said, quote, you can never take any opponent for granted. They're a tough team, and in particular, their shot on inside can really give you problems. I expect us to play hard and play this event. Oh, he got it back. And, okay. Okay, Doris, thanks. It's almost like a crucial aspect to enable your reference in the first. 
Kevin is just the defense, don't you? Yeah, I think the key, Kevin, is being the aggressor right from the outset of this game. That means being in attack mode and not passing up any good shots that you get early. Steven Adams is jacked in for the Thunder. Augustine comes in for Russell Westbrook. Kevin setting the pick for Exum. That oh, you don't need a drive-in. And Robertson kicks to Durant. Ah. Dawkins against Augustine. Don't leave him any space. They right. set the screen. Shots good by Dang. Durant. Durant's got 13. He's just been the man since the start of this quarter. Just a tremendous period of basketball for him. Yeah, hasn't he shot like Dawkins the high majority of their shots actually? Dawkins against Augustine. Here's Hood. Oh. Good, Good job. Hood's got the game tied up here for the Jazz. The easiest way to do it sometimes is with the bounce pass. Ooh. Okay. Augustine with it. 11 points for him in that last game against San Antonio. The dish to Clinton. The feed to Durant. This one for three. That one's good. He's got 16. They just the giving it to Durant. Who's guarding Durant, anyways? Dawkins, the pass to Evans. Jazz passing it around. Pass to Dawkins. Oh, dang, I moved too quick, huh? That's not bad. Nice shooting. Oklahoma City. All right, four point difference. Oh, Westbrook is back. And they're screening me. Yeah. That's the group right now for Utah. Russell Westbrook still among the league leaders in shots at the rim, but Steve, he's expanding his offensive arsenal. Well, he's improved as a three-point shooter. He's got a great pull-up jumper from mid-range already, especially from that foul line area. So Take that. really is a threat from that area. There's a rugged screen set there, fellas, and the defense didn't even try to go through that. He kicks to Augustine. And stolen by Ooh. And here we go. Take that all the way to the wreck. Oh. Uh-uh. You better not. He's <laughs> my opponent. Oh, 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 hold up. <laughs> okay. Favors with a screen on Augustine. Pass to Dawkins. Three pointer. And that one's good. Dawkins has done another. Give me the green light. Back to down. Fade away with an accurate turnaround jumper from that left basin. Augustine dishes to Durant. Play up on him. Now Kansas. Huh? Nope. Points for contest. Ah. Here's Dawkins. He feeds it to Brooks. Pass to Dawkins. Outside Wilson. Here's Dawkins. Defended by Durant. Clock at four. Puts it up from 17. The shot ah. by Dawkins is no good. So for the Jazz, their last game lost to Denver. And they were really out of league. Uh-huh. Better not. Huge disadvantage. Oh. Well, you get clapped over the glass. It's always going to put you at a disadvantage. I mean, they need to do a much better job. Ah, good defense, guys. Good defense. Inside the league, going after the ball. You can't just box out of position. Oh. Oh, I really wanted you to take that in. Kicks it to Vickers. There's the pass to Dawkins. All right. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, why did you move? <laughs> why did you move? 
Why did you sneak? <laughs> I bet I'm gonna be taken out because of that. Man. Oh, okay, thank goodness. Okay. Right here. Wide open. Oh wow! I can't believe I missed that. Uh huh. That's ours. All day, every day. Don't know what you were trying to do there. Okay, let's take it slow. Let's take it slow. Let's do it smart. Oh wow! Charge? How? How can he move and charge me? What? Square up? He's, he was moving. That's a moving screen. That's basically what he did. That was a moving screen. He wasn't. He didn't like set set himself still and just get hit by me. He was moving. Oh. Dang it. There it is. They're doing everything to stop me, guys. They're doing everything they can to stop me. Ooh, look at that open man right there. Hold up. Let's see what we can do about that. Ooh. Look at that open. Wide open. Ooh. He was angled a bit too bad. Too bad. Trying to screen me. I think you're trying to screen me. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Really tough to get that shot off with the size differential there. It's not an individual matchup he's going to win every time, especially in the post. Very well done. I didn't think he had any business operating down there with the big fellas. The Jazz working the ball around now. There. Nice. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, wow. I'm glad they didn't decide to automatically just pass it to the open guy and just make me, make me pay for it. I'm very glad about that. And I'm even more glad that they missed all their free throws. Let's take it slow. Let's take it slow, shall we? You don't see him have too many of those trips to the line. This is it to Burks. This is it to Dogs. I think you want the ball too. Five on the clock. The Jazz need to get off the shot here. Ah. Ah. Okay. Gotta stop it. Gotta stop it. Nope. <laughs> nope. Give me that. What the? Oh, blocking foul this time. I'm glad. I would have been so upset. I would have been so upset. Here's Dawkins. He's got a level. Ingles passes to Dawkins. Shot clock at six. Shoots it up. The shot goes in as the ref calls the blocking foul. He's on his way to the free throw line. Wait. That's weird. Why did they say that? Westbrook wishes to Augustine. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. And it's Cantor, originally from Turkey. He's a promise offensively. He's going to draw on the How did they mention about the free throw line? On the offensive boards as well. Sometimes he's even shown the ability to step out and space the floor. Be interesting to see how this game develops. And Cantor not a big one. You know, uh, inside baskets. Okay. Okay. I expected a better screen than that. Take that. 
Ah, I only gave it to you earlier. Sorry, bro. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for Oklahoma City. A lot of success for mid-range so far for them, guys. If nothing else worked. They can always fall back on the jump shot. And on top of that, they're really starting to knock down that long-range three ball tonight as well. Westbrook gets to Durant. Oh, who left him up, Ed? <laughs> Augustine's got six here in this quarter. It took him a little while to get into the flow of this game, but now he's definitely found his stride and rhythm. Oh, no, no! Why did you keep going? You usually always stop. Oh, my goodness. He's coming off a 19-point game against San Antonio. He was exquisite. Please don't make that game. It wasn't just the score. It was the passing, too. And his teammates, you could tell, were just really enjoying playing with him. Jazz trail by nine. Dawkins, the pass to Burks. Burks off a pick from Dawkins. He dishes it to Gobert. And Kevin, in that game, we saw a lot of sloppy play from the opposing offense. They popped the ball up way too often. Yeah, and that did make things really easy, guys. Nice to get a win if you're on that side of it and not to have to work too hard to do right. And lots of contact here. Lots of fouls in this game. This game. Kevin Durant, the most unstoppable score in the game. It is amazing to watch this guy put the ball in the basket in every game and every distance. His ball oh, handling ability have over 10 points to do just that. He can get wherever he wants to, Ouch. when he wants to, and how he wants to. He can get a shot off anytime. Looking at his actor now for the fun. And as he's jumped in for Kenton, Allison comes in for Serge Ibaka. And it's Andre Robertson in for Augustine. Look at that open shot. What? How did you miss that? Durant with one of the league's quickest releases. Hey, I've yet to see anybody block his shot. And yet, you know, to leave your feet too early, you can just drive right around you and dunk the ball. Oh, it takes all we got to foul. Mobility and shooting. It's the way to shoot the rock. Athletic Phoenix. So wow, the and they made more points than us. Well, obviously things have not gone your way to this point, at least through the first two quarters. How are you guys going to get back in this one? Uh, well, uh, this is a game of runs, right? They came out strong and got hot on the floor. It's allowed them to build this lead. But I think they gave them a good one of our own. I guess we'll see. Let's hope you have time to cover it. This is even worse than the first one. All right, let's get our heads on straight. This is not what these people came to see. We've got to talk about the first half. On offense, we haven't had the balance we need between the perimeter and the low post. Too much of our scoring is coming from outside. Let's fix that in the second half and work the ball inside. Something else we've done well is use it. Just about to get going here in what has been so far a runaway game. Yeah. What a game we're seeing. My Kevin goodness. Think how many that many points point difference afterwards. We didn't even get one score while I was on the bench. And they're not missing. They are not missing at all. Hands in front of them, they either foul or they don't miss. Russell Westbrook out there with Roberson. And it's cancer in at the center. Nice ball moving by Utah. Take, take the favors. Oh my goodness, okay. Man, excellent interior defense there. Good rotation. No doubt about it, Steve. He's a real presence inside. Takes up a lot of space. Ah. Overson gets the bucket. Their prowess inside has been tremendous, guys. I mean, it's been no contest down on the low block. And until they prove they can stop them, I mean, they ought to continue to pound it in low. Dawkins, the pass to Burks. Dawkins against Westbrook. Puts it up from 12. Not ah. on that one as it misses. Physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. That plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Yeah, not to mention what it says on the scoreboard. I mean, they're really pushing them around physically at this point. Here's Dawkins up on the end. Dawkins has got 15. 
You know, he's knocking down his shots today, but it hasn't really translated to the scoreboard yet. Third quarter of play, we just over a minute and a half gone by. It's Westbrook with the drive. And Rogers and kicks to Westbrook. The rebound by the Jazz. Good job. Fever's got his third rebound tonight. I don't know why I'm doing that hesitation again. Yeah, they need a basket just to regain some momentum here, Kevin. Burns the best to Dawkins. Down to five on the shot clock. Shot off the pit. Can't get it to go. Great D that time from Westbrook. I'll admit, that was good D. Mm-hmm. The dish to Ibaka. Westbrook kicks to Ibaka. Uh-huh. Wait! Wait! You can't just do that. You can't just... There's something for the top ten highlight reel right there. A layup can be just as sweet and as pretty as a dunk sometimes. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Hey, Kevin Jay in that last game against the Nuggets played some outstanding basketball. He finished with 39 points, as he usually does, really knocking down shots from beyond the arc. His performance will be a high note, and it has been a disappointing season for his team. Great, Doris. Thanks, and a chance we see him. Oh, wow, man. I'd say no chance, partner. And that's not a knock against him. It's just that he was so good that night. I don't think they can possibly do it two games in a row. They're they just killing us. And they really like like stealing the ball from me, man. I didn't even push that hard. All I did was an inside pull back. And they tipped the ball from me. And Durant comes to help. Pass to Dawkins. Six to shoot. Takes the three. Oh, wow. Tries again. And it's Favors. Durant's flopping like the Miami Heat throws like one time at a time. Otherwise, with his agility and athleticism, they're not going to be able to contain him on the offensive blocks. They're killing us, man. I can't believe they're killing us so bad. This isn't. This is nothing compared to the beginning. Guys make from the I don't understand. Truly gifted distributor. Yeah, and one of the passes that you really need to prioritize and be able to make is that entry pass, getting that ball inside, accurately throwing it into the low post is really a bit of a lost art in today's game. You know, the NBA is a talent league, and it's hard to win in the NBA without superstar talent. And the Thunder are fortunate to have two superstars, Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook. Those two give them a chance to win no matter who they're facing up against or where they're playing. Oh. Oh my goodness, man. I was too far and they wouldn't let me. Uh, small mistakes like that, though, cost us, man. Uh, uh, just like that. I messed their team up. And that's just a case of a team playing extremely hard on a night-to-night -night basis. And uh, it's also a, a well-coached, disciplined approach because you can't play good defense unless all five guys are on the same page at one time. Oh. The shot by Dawkins is no good. And you look at the star challenge for Oklahoma City, the eternal one record. Steve, how would this team be different if they held on to no. James Harden? Well, that's the question. If they had three superstars, they would have been unstoppable offensively. As it is, they're hard enough to guard. Uh, but, you know, that's a question that will remain you know, forever unanswered. Oh, no. Oh, okay. But luckily for them, a lot of his teammates have come through. To the wing on the left. Oh, wow. Jazz passing it around. There's the pick. Hangs on the trifecta. Dawkins has got five points in the quarter. There you go. That's the stroke we saw in the first half. Westbrook dishes to Cantor. And Westbrook, here we go. Can't cash in from close range. 
taken in every possession with that shot, they'd be happy. Nine uh -huh. ten, that's an easy layup. So every once in a while, they'll show us some pretty good moves around the And what? And the Jazz making a change here. Millsaps checked in. DJ Augustine's checked in for Oklahoma City. New Jaws shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. And you take a look at the statistics. This club is shooting 74% as a team. And guys, that allows their opponents to play very aggressive defense if they choose to, knowing it's not a bad thing to send them to the foul line. It's Durant on the way. He's covered by Favors. And that one yeah, is good. as soon as I saw him fade away, I knew it was too late. Today. No matter who's been on him, he's been giving him medicine. Utah's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Dawkins gets to Millsap. Now the feed to Burks. Dawkins is screen on Durant. Millsap passes to Dawkins. He kicks to Burks. Yeah, you can, can take it. it Cantor's got rebound number eight now on the night. Robertson dishes to Durant. Great Man, give me that. From Dawkins. Jazz shooting is leaving something to be desired. Just 36% here in the third quarter. Feeds it to Burks. Burks off a pick from Dawkins. Burks kicks to Gobert. Augustine against Dawkins. Millsap passes to Dawkins. Shoots. Yeah, that was very contested. Opportunity. He lays it in. Gobert's got his third basket of the night right there. He got a great read of where you had more space than I did at that point. That allowed him to be the first guy to it and get the putback. Now here is Augustine. Nine points in the game so far. Durant kicks to Roberson. Back to Durant. Oh no! I jumped way too early. Okay. Well, the echo was there, but he just couldn't quite find his way through traffic. Favors passes to Dawkins. Mills and dishes to Gobert. Dawkins kicks to Burks. Shot from the way. Oh wow! Nice defense, though. Oh. Favors can't get it to go. Oklahoma City leading by 23. With the two points <laughs> out of bounds, Oklahoma City able to retain. It's become a defensive game. So Utah going they still with have a 23 team. point lead on this, though. Oh. That's the way to work on D. Alec Burks. Both teams making some changes here. Now it's a 30 point lead. A few possessions. They, they're not making this easy on us. Overnight play. Put out there with Exum. Then it's Jeremy Evans. And it's Millsap in at the three spot. Oh, That's the Dante, right for Utah. help me. What position do you play, Exum? Should he go? become a huge part of the NBA. And one element of that that jumps out at me is basically the cameras that track every movement of every player and provide info on what Open! Yeah! Good job. Nice. Instead of standing around. check in for Exum. Oh, so me and Exxon play the same position. Next up for them is going to be the Suns. That'll be at the U.S. Airways Center. That'll be the third game of this three-game road trip. Well, I'll be looking forward to seeing how that Phoenix game turns out for sure. Here's Cantor. I'll take that. I'll take that. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Thunder. The mid-range has been a very nice game for them. I mean, they've been finding the bottom of the net a lot. And the other thing they're doing is they're forcing turnovers and then converting those miscues into points at the other end. What a night so far for Ennis Cannon. Eight rebounds and free throws have been big for him today. With six points from the line. Well, you know, he understands the value of those easy points. Also, getting the opponent into foul trouble. Those are big. Those are the little things that will add up for a team trying to get a victory. Don't know why you decided to jump forward. Take a jumper. Take a jumper. You don't need to take a layup. In the rebounding department, too, Carter. Yeah, it's been a really gritty performance. They'll have some bruises to show for it. Ah, why did I bounce back? That you competed when you do that work inside. Oh, yeah, we lost this game, guys. This guy, this game leaves a bad taste on the mouth, so I'll probably play another one. 
but we really lost this one. Dawkins against Westbrook. And Ennis Kennedy. Oh, nice foul. foul. You know, with the movement we've seen the last decade with teams heading to Oklahoma City and for a time Sacramento, is it time for the NBA to look at realizing some teams? Might not happen yet, but we're getting close to maybe a reshuffling the league. Go get these checked in for Jeremy Edwards. Said, Unless we can stop them every point. single play. Wow. Okay, great. Let's see what we can do. It's still nine minutes. Anything could happen. Has to Goes up on the wing. Oh, wow. He gets a lucky bounce from my mind. Just good. Oh, nice. Over to the left wing. Dawkins dicks to Millsap. Here's Dawkins. Passes it to Hood. Rocket six. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Throwing the whistle and a lot of times right there. That's on Ennis Kennedy. That free throw good from Hood. 100% free throw shooting this half, guys. Efficiency is so crucial when you're trying to overcome a deficit, Steve. And the Thunder making a change here. Medeiros checked in. Ibaka assists the pick for Westbrook. Again. He feeds it to Ibaka. Left side of Becca. Westbrook against Dawkins. Looking to get back on track here. Ah, and he knocks down the jumper. And it's 13 points for Russell Westbrook. That kind of sums up the defensive effort we've seen here tonight, guys. And there's the whistle. Foul hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Well, guys, the D League a test bed for ideas that might, you know, make their way to the NBA. And one thing we've seen there is a mission to get games down to two hours in length. They really want to. Yep. On a short yep. I was waiting for it this time. You know, the idea is to hold viewers' attention and provide time certainty for the broadcast. I was trying to do that every time he does, he does the screen. And there's the pass to Hood. And he's open. Ah! Rebounded by Serge Ibaka. Ibaka's got nine rebounds. The problem is, even if they're open, they're not guaranteed to get a shot like the computer is most of the time. Yes, sir. And with a deficit, that hurts. He knows an opportunity for the highlight reel when he sees one. Dawkins against Westbrook. Here's Dawkins. Back to Millsap. From outside the arc. The uh, rebound by Ibaka. They've shown effort and aggression in the paint right from the tip. Their rebounding edge is impressive. And I'll tell you what, they've turned a lot of those rebounds into points at the other end. No one near Westbrook as he lets it go. No good on the three. Heard the pass to go back. Nice ball number by Utah. Here's Dawkins, and it's in for the backboard. Dawkins has got 12 points here in the second half. Wow, he was just wide open there. That's way too easy. Westbrook gets to McGill. In the corner, it's Westbrook. Oh, no! Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> I hate that get. I hate those get backs. Like the ball just back magnetizes to their hands. Utah has gone one or two from three point range here in the fourth. Let's it go from deep. Ah oh, man, I thought I was gonna hit it. Oh. Here's Roberson. They set the pick. And the officials will call the nice. At this rate, Westbrook is gonna get fouled out. 
Four, five minutes on the clock in it. Almost a 30 point deficit. No, no. <laughs> I felt it. They were too close. Outside Wilson. Right here, right here. Six on the shot clock. Try it again. Uh, rebound goes to the Thunder. Looks like he's just trying to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but uh, I don't know about that shot attempt. No, no, oh wow! Three, I swear, it's like they're saying this is how you do it. Hood's got eight points here in this quarter. Thunder have gone six of nine on their field goal attempt since the start of the fourth quarter. Westbrook comes in again. Oklahoma City. Shaky defense down low again. It's been a mismatch in the paint. I'm sure they didn't go into this one expecting to get battered like they have inside. There's the screen. Dawkins, the pass to Hood. Cooley. No what the? I swear, guys. For Oklahoma City, they can do better than this. Shooting the ball since the start of the fourth quarter. Outside Westbrook. From beyond the arc. A second chance effort. And lots of contact here. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. And he knocks down the first one. You know, they've really improved at the line from the first half. Things have gotten a lot better. They've gotten there a good number of times, and they've converted a high percentage of it. Jeremy Evans checks in for Utah. Then for the Thunder, Allison comes in for Singler, and DJ Augustine subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Here's Hood. Come on, come on, before you... No, not a charge, not again. I wanted to take a jumper. Why do you always do that? We see the leadership change again. New mission, new owners. I think that process will continue. Preserving the tradition of the game. They're doing everything in their power to make sure that I don't make shots. If it's threes. There's a good screen. Here's Hood. Dawkins is screen on Augustine. Heard the pass to Dawkins. Outside Millsap. Fades. Wow, what, what's a fadeaway? We talk about the new team owners. More than 30% talk of the league's teams. Have changed here. Are you kidding me right now? I don't believe it, but again, as franchises are growing value, the owners are getting much more involved. And again, understanding the appreciation potential of this kind of asset. It's a bigger chunk of their portfolio now. It used to be owners were guys that kind of came through the basketball business somewhat. They didn't look at it as something that could be a viable asset, but now. It's, I'm tired. Uh, right. It's a big business play. If I go inside, I either get charged or they they steal it from me. And when I go outside, I just miss. Here is no. What do I do? Do I just pass? Morrow is just a palace. And there's another one for the Thunder. Yeah, we we really have no hope of getting this. It's over 30 points. I mean, it's got that nice, smooth, singular motion. Sweet. Dawkins take that. And he gets it to go. Swear to this man. Oh, it was so upset. The defense has not been able to keep the ball out of the paint at that end of the floor. Well, I like to know how many of their attempts have come from inside five feet. It seems like everything is right at the rim. Oh, no, no, not the skates. And he gets it to go. Well, it's a wrap, fellas. No way you come back and win this one. Not anymore. Any chance of that happening went out the window a while ago. Pulls up on nope. the wing. Inside, Evans kicks to Hood. Outside, Nilsa. Nice ball, Hood, by Utah. 
There's the three, and there's the record. Oh, wow. And so it's going to end up in the record books as a blowout dominated performance for Oklahoma City. Agreed, Steve, and as one side as it gets today, you know, Clark, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. You're right, Kevin. It's hard to think of anything that didn't go right for them. I mean, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players. Oh, they're killing us at this point. And the win loss comes tonight's game. I wish I didn't, I didn't mess up that last game. Today I wish they didn't get disconnected. How much they've owned these guys this year. Well, they've had a perfect wow. mark in four games against them. Impressive All I can do is boost my stats at this point. The other side. You look at the stats and you'll see just how dominant the game this was for Durant. He was extremely efficient offensively. Getting looks, knocking down big shots all game long. He was. The pass to Augustine. Inside. Stolen away. Passes it to Dawkins. And there's the whistle foul hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. And that one falls to Dawkins. Exxon has checked in for the Jets. Look at that tie. Oklahoma City with a change here, too. Simply's checked in. And good on the second. So he makes them both. 32 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Morrow kicks to Adams. Dishes to Augustine. Makes it ah. Well, this is going to seal the deal. They've really exploded here to the finish line. You know, once they sniffed out that blood in the water, the killer instinct came right out. Here's Dawkins. Kicks it to Exxon. Here you go. Exxon, why did you... That's good. Well, okay. I got the assist. Thank you, Exxon. Immediately look to find the open man. So no problem, look at the crowd. Look look at how many people decided to leave. Hey, what more can you add? And now let's go over to Doris Burke on the sideline for an interview with the... Hi, Kevin. Oh, my goodness. Kevin Durant is definitely the player of the game in that match. He didn't miss anything. Who was guarding that man? Man. Hey, hey how, how you, you doing, doing, man? Uh, good. 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 Oh, oh, come on, man. man. I know Please you since I was 12, 12 years old. old. I know no, something no, wrong. No. So, what's, what's up? up? Uh, forget it. You know, you're a professional you're athlete in the middle of the season. You got, you got enough to worry about. Man, bump all that, man. You family, coach. What's going on? All right. Engineer from the county said the gym at the school has structural damage that, quote, poses a significant threat to the public. Until such a nap time repairs can be made, the structure must be shut down, unquote. Hold on. They won't close the gym? I did it? Unless we get a sudden infusion of cash. Look, it hurts to ask, but uh, if you could contribute financially, you know, coaches, faculty, the kids, we really appreciate it. We wouldn't have to go across town and play at that rec center. Heck, we could, you know, name the gym after you. What do you, what do you think? Yes, I'll do it. All day. Cause there was a time when I ain't have anything. When you brought me to your home, your heart, and your team. I'm more than happy to help out any way I can. And that includes financially. I'm so proud of you. The man you've become. Thank you. Hey, Cole, no problem. I got you. Forever. See you later. Call you later. Keep it moving, people. Next question. Oh, I have an interview. You know, when the team is struggling like you guys have been, how do you avoid negative thoughts getting in your head? You know, we all have to be professional, man. Live in the moment. 
a wise man once told that doubt can only be removed by action. That means I got to get back to work. We all got to get back to work. We have time for more questions. You, sir? You must be frustrated with all those mistakes out there tonight. What do you got to do to limit those next time out? It is very frustrating. I just got to get better. It's unacceptable how much I turned the ball over tonight. I mean, all I can do is get back to work and get better, man. That's it. OK, uh, you, you there. there. Enough about the team. Let's talk about the personal rivalry that occupies so much of your thoughts lately. Is it a distraction to the team? What are you talking about? I'm talking about two of the biggest players in the league. Letting a personal battle supersede the needs of their respective teams. Isn't that wrong? You got it all wrong. Yes, we have a friendly competition between one another, but it's all in good fun. Yeah, we want to beat the other guy, but we never lose sight of our real goal and what's most important, and that's our team. And that's all the time we have, everybody. Until next time. And you're good, you're good. Yeah, I am bad. <laughs> yeah, I am bad. <laughs> Look at my, me in my pimping suit. <laughs> All purple, everything. I'm gonna get a new suit in the near future, but for now, this would do. There was a time where I didn't even have the suit. I just had the shirt. I just had the purple pants and the shirt. That, that game left a bad taste in my mouth. So I'm not going to let it end with that. Nah, nah. Can't do it. Can't do it. Not at all. I'm going to continue for another game. Uh, I know I usually play one game one game per episode. But due to that mishap and how bad that game turned out. I'm not just going to let this slide. Plus we're going against the Timberwolves. Hmm. Mm, look at the next few games. The, the Nuggets, Phoenix, the Kings twice, Memphis, Portland. Oh, we're actually a little bit before we get to the playoffs. But how much we're losing lately, I don't think we're going to be able to make it. I'll probably be going into a different team. Because... Staying with the Utah Jazz is a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. I have a couple of teams that I have that are interested. Not important. <laughs> it's time for the NBA. Live on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Steve Curry and Clark Kellogg alongside. And our sideline report tonight is Doris Booker. Timberwolves right. hoping to get a strong showing here for their home front. And it goes without saying that Derek Favors back in good health. They are extremely excited to have him back in the line. I mean, you know, it's trouble without him. And he's really made a strong effort to get back just in time to try to help out as they make this last ditch run towards the playoffs. And you just hope that he hasn't pushed himself too hard in light of the fact that the playoffs may be out of reach. And checking out Utah's open lineup. Donkeys in a point guard. Favors is out there with Gobert. Then there's Alec Brooks. And it's Ingles in at the three. The oh, no. Player. There are three of them. Uh... What the? Of course it would have me stop by bumping into him, right? Dawkins against Rubio. Why are you leaving me so much space? 
I'll make you pay for that next time. Dawkins against Rubio. <laughs> Dawkins kicks the favors. Puts it up from 15. Nice. The bounce pass there. Perfect. And good job using the bounce pass, me. He doesn't do the bounce pass often. He likes throwing it over his head for some reason. Ooh. And Pekovic ah. kicks to Rubio. And a high oh. over the here for Wiggins. That's good. It's Rubio with the assist. Wiggins has got five. Off to a nice start here. They've hit all three from the field. Ricky Rubio, from his days in Spain, has been known for his incredible court vision and playmaking ability. His oh. knack for processing the game, for anticipating what's coming, and creating something out of nothing has been something that set him apart from a lot of guards. Yep, yep. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming because of your lazy, that lazy attempt to try and get the ball. Just to put your hands up. I knew it was coming. You know what? That's what happens when you get all five guys on a string defensively ready to react and make a This is why I don't like passing into the inside. After the basket by Minnesota. Here's Dawkins. And look at that open man. Uh, get, oh. And just okay. under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Not allowed anymore. Oh my Rubio goodness. Oh, that's blocked. In transition, here come the Jazz. Oh my goodness. Did the ramp block me? And with the Rubio steadily increasing his rate of assists. Season after season. Yeah, and he's doing it like cutting his turn over right now as well. But it's not just about numbers with Rubio. He's got a flare. Oh, my goodness. As if that last game didn't leave a bad enough taste in my mouth. So it's the Jays now, following the score by Kevin Martin. Passes it to Ingles. The pass to Dawkins. To end the run. And the shot is good. Dawkins has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Looking at the last game for the Minnesota Timberwolves, it was a loss to the Pelicans in New Orleans. And I think the sort of issues they had on defense in part of the season was a bigger factor. Really could count on them because it was on the road. You, you have to be sharper when you go out. Uh, yeah, everything has to be tight. You guys are going to kill us in this game, too, isn't it? Game. You're fighting against the crowd and the opponent. Got to be tougher, mentally and physically, if you're going to win on the road. So here's Burks, following the basket by Nikola Pekovic. Again from deep, the three-pointer goal from Dawkins. Dawkins has got his second basket of the night. Ten year olds leading by five. Doris Burke has some information for us, Doris. Guys, I have a chance to talk to head coach. Give me that. The thing that jumps out at him the most about their opponent today is the two. Oh, no! He said, we've got to push them back. All the turnovers, man. This is a team that loves to run, and we've got to be prepared to do the same. Gentlemen, thanks, Doris. Probably the right play defensively. If you can't get the block, send them to the free throw. Don't give you easy two. No easy So many turnovers in the first quarter. The first quarter, guys. Well, Nikola Pekovic. The fact that I slowed down ruined the play. Really soft hands for a big guy. I think that, make, that combination makes him one of the most effective inside scores in the league. Here's Dawkins. Six points for him. To the middle. Here's Gobert. Okay, finally a good pass. A good pass. He really didn't get the official any choice. He got way too much body to body contact. Oh my goodness. Tell you what, he's lucky on that one that he would get a flagrant two foul, which would be an ejection. Yeah, he would have been out of the game if he had, and the Rubens doing everything he can to protect its players. You know something? I think the officials have a really good understanding here of when to issue those unnecessary contact calls. They set the pick. That was a nice pick, too. Dawkins against Pekovic. Out to the right wing. Oh, man. That's not what I wanted to pass it to. Uh, yeah, move. Six to shoot. Dawkins, the pass to Fabers. 
Nice. Let's go. As they finally hit a shot. Favors has got his second bucket. I'm glad this team isn't trying to get me charged, charged out like the other team. Was. Kicks to Garnett. Whoops. There's the steal. And oh, here we go. Burke's got it. Great chance. Boy, such outstanding patience and decision making for them offensively. Yeah, absolutely. Their ball movement has been outstanding. They are highly up to assist. Garnett with a screen on Dockovich. Oh, uh, no. That's good. I was hoping I wouldn't do that kind of uh, Seems like they're finding steal. over the lane of the hoop every time down. That's five buckets in a row for them in the paint. Yeah, on the flip side, Steve, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. Here's Dawkins. He's got eight. Has to go bare. Uh, why did I pass it to him? Here's Ingles. And Utah again with the bubble. What a start to this game. <laughs> the crowd got quiet. I Looking at the Timberwolves, let's see where they rank in the NBA statistics right now. Fifth in rebounds, seventh in free throw percentage, and they are in the top ten in team points per game. And you put all those things together, and that makes this a very tough team. And what really jumps out at me is the rebound squad. This is a team that, that controls the paint. If you're going to miss a shot, the ball seems to be theirs almost every time. That allows the transition game to get going. And then at the offensive end, they'll pound you on the offensive glass as well. Kicks it out to oh. Shot clock at three. Here's Garnett. And Dawkins pulls it down. The Jazz on offense. They're on a 14 to 6 run. The pass is wide open. From downtown, and How dare you? He has five. Boy, they're going on this run, and ball movement has been a big key. Yeah, they have the defense on the run right now because every pass seems to have a purpose. They're getting great movement, great spacing, and they're really lining them up defensively. Now here's Garnett. He's coming off a 10-point game against New Orleans. He typically may not contribute a lot, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have the ability to. Jazz have gotten seven of their first ten attempts to fall so far. Excellent pace to their offense. There's the double team with Mark. The dish to Burks. Oh, look at it. Wide open. Oh. Another shot. And it's Favors laying it in. Favors got six. If you battle for the offensive rebound and come up with it, you're guaranteed a high quality shot on a follow just like you got there. The try by Rubio. Garnett wide open. 18 feet away and he has to pass. Garnett's got his third bucket of the night. Well, he's found his game and his rhythm this quarter. He's got into a nice groove. Well, certainly the story here at the Target Center is the ongoing $100 million. Oh, no! Again? 50 50 between the team and the city of Minneapolis. Nope. Great news for Tim. Nope. So, it's Utah now. Following the news by Andrew Wiggins. Here's why? Why so? Why did I? I, I, I hate those ice skate plays. And by ice skate, I mean when I slide all the way to the opposite, all the way back. He kicks it to Burks. Pass to Dawkins. Fires the three. Ah. by the Timberwolves. Now that I have no <laughs> It was a good shot. It hit the rim. It just wouldn't land in for some reason. Two clubs of gathering rays. Seems like they're getting a big bang for their ball. Now here is Mark. 23 points for him the last game against the Pelicans in New Orleans. Yeah, he picked the spots in that game too, Kevin, because I thought he'd not only be a nice up. Nope. Setting up his teammates as well. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. Nice shooting. Finally, we're actually in the league when I leave. Oh, here's Garnett. 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 If I could, I would play with you as a shooting guard instead of as a point guard. But I wouldn't be taking this spot. Oh, so that's why. Right. 
Insult to injury. Don't get past me. On tap. This is. Guys, from what we've been watching with the Jazz, what are you guys seeing out there? Boy, a ton of threes in that first quarter. This team really lighting it up, guys. Yeah, it's been an onslaught from downtown. Nope. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's the second quarter of play. Taking a look at the Jazz. Dawkins, he's in a point guard. Trevor Booker is out there with Jeremy Evans. Then it's Exum and it's Millsap in at the three slot. Of the post screen. On loads. A chance there to pass ah, it to double digits. Almost had it too. And here's the fast break. And Jay gets the whistle. That's yeah, I'll, I'll slow you down. There was someone who was rushing in. Some changes for Minnesota. Hamilton's checked in for Bennett. Wiggins comes in for Shabazz Muhammad. And it's Martin in for Gary Lee. Oh. Derek Favors checked in for Utah. Alec Burks comes in for X. Here's Dawkins. Favors with a screen on Rubio. Oh, wow. What? What the? Dawkins against Rubio. Tries it from the top of the key. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And a missed opportunity right there. Definitely that was a missed opportunity right there. I don't know why I decided to go to that option and thing. And all I did was want to make the shot. Rubio, the pass to Hamilton. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. And with that, the Jazz lead is cut down now to just five on the basket from Rubio. Second quarter of action, about a minute and a half played. Here's Dawkins. He's got eight. Launches a three. That's good. Dawkins has got the lead up to eight now for Utah. How about that? They respond to a three-pointer with a, a quick three of their own. Yeah, terrific. Great back and forth sequence right there. Hamilton with a screen on Dawkins. Hamilton gets oh, wow. Why does that keep happening? Rubio's got seven. They have repeatedly probed inside. Where they get me caught in a certain low movement, and I can't escape that. As many points as they've got in the paint, they really haven't had to do much on the perimeter. Dawkins, the pass to Millsap. Right side, Millsap. Just five on the clock. Dawkins. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, thank you. Thank you for not keeping me in the end of there. Sure. Well, Trey Burke and Alex Burks, the Burke Burks, and Burke 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 and you know, Trey Burke showed in his rookie year that he can shoot it from deep and knows how to run a team effectively. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Hey, hey, yeah, then Jay in that last game against the Thunder looked really strong. He finished with 27 points and was on the mark from deep draining several threes. His performance will be a high note in what has been a disappointing season for his team. All right, Doris, thank you. We played at a level that very few players are capable of playing for. Yeah, I agree. I was just glad I got a chance to witness it. It's always such a special night when a player of his caliber gets so locked in and focused. And you know, in an 82-game season with so much talent, every once in a while, everything's going to click. And that was definitely the case that night. Finally, from the wing, Dawkins has got five points in the quarter. Well, you talk about Burks' ability to finish around the rim. Great athlete. They say he added about six inches to his vertical leap training with his teammates in Santa Barbara. Hamilton outside. Back to Rubio. Now here's Wiggins. No self cover. Another miss by Minnesota. And with Burke's length and athleticism, the tools to be a tough defender are there. And he's still learning how to play defense effectively and efficiently, but already he's a pretty good rebounder from the guard spot. Millsap off a bit from Dawkins. Fires from deep. And again, it's the Jazz from deep. 
They're hovering around 50% for the game in three pointers. That's pretty good. But they've really elevated here in the second quarter. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Yes, guys, over that last break, I listened to Utah's head coach address his team. He told them they should be dedicated. Institution now for Minnesota. Jan, he's checked in for Nikola Pekic. Anthony Bennett comes in for Kevin Garnett. Shabazz Muhammad's checked in for Wiggins. And Gary Neal's up in for... I'll take that. Didn't mean to murder you, bro. <laughs> yeah, with me, bro. <laughs> Not no, huh? Huh? My fault? <laughs> uh, excuse me. I'll be right back, guys. Mic check, mic check. Since my audio device was ejected because I had. Uh, sorry about that, guys. My brother ended up leaving a dish where he wasn't supposed to, and I had to wash it for him. For well, they definitely, definitely have the hot hand from the three point line so far. Always nice to start out like that. Another thing they've been doing so far tonight is knocking down the jump shot. Rubio having a good one. Nine points, and also those active hands of his have led to a pair of steals. Yeah, Clark, he's had a great presence defensively. He's thrown off their rhythm on several occasions. There's a screen. Dawkins kicks to Booker. Back. Zero. Minnesota will take it the other way. Last time they met was in Salt Lake City, Utah, where they fell to the Ooh, top. Yes. And it looks like that guy's just got to flush it down the toilet and put it behind him. Yeah, you do, Steve. It was much easier said than done. I mean, it's hard not to dwell on the type of poor performance it was for them. Pass to Hood. He feeds it to X. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, why does that keep happening? Why, how do you get guys always manage to make him cut in front of you? I'm, I'm, I'm not taking it to your post again. Three points onto their lead. 
and a tight game here as we end the first half. Utah out in front, leading by five. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the side. Doris? Kevin, I'm here with Ricky Wood. All right, listen up, everybody. The second half doesn't have to be as close as the first. We pay attention to a couple of things. Some of the biggest points we scored in the first half came because our defense was shot and we never passed up a chance to get out and run when they turned it over. I really, I really like that we've made them pay for their mistakes. Five turnovers. Our offense in the paint was a positive. Our entry passes were shot, and we showed up some excellent football. Back in half, getting underway. Both teams battling hard through the first half. Without question, Jay is spoiling his skills today. And what was most impressive was that his decision making and, and shot taking was very disciplined and efficient. Really an excellent half. Yeah, that's exactly right. Whether it's been from mid range or in tight, he's taking only what the defense has given him. And he's not trying to do too much. I love the flow and rhythm he's playing with him. Ruby and Martin manning the back. Garnett out there with Wiggins. And it's Pekovic in at the foul. So that's the Timberwolves' foul. The pass jangles. Dawkins against Martin. Dawkins, the pass jangles. Here's Dawkins. Down to five on the shot clock. He loses from 15. Ah. With the Why don't they do that slide animation that I always do? Rubio outside. This is the Garnett. Oh. I haven't tried to help you out here. He's hard to guard from there. If you give him space when he turns around like that, and then he fades, he'll make it. Here's Dawkins. The shot. Ah. Misses off the left iron. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get too many better. What the? Did it just make me hold still? If they decide to make a shot there, it would have been my fault. Rubio's got his seventh assist in the game. What's wrong with my play? Was it my controller? Dawkins kicks to Burks. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Dawkins, the best to go there. Dawkins against What the? Okay. Dawkins, oh, okay. <laughs> Dawkins has got 18 points. Boy, that was a rugged screen set there, fellas. And the defense didn't even try. I see. They're playing extra, extra, extra good. In the corner, it's Martin. Misses the three. Utah leading by four. At the floor, here's Ingles. And he takes it through the rollup off a very nice feed. He's got seven. What a smooth finish. Well, he certainly won the one on the end of those breaks. He always finishes strong. Dawkins against Rubio. In the corner, it's Wiggins. Wow! That's a highlight real pass. And I think the playmaking really stands out to me that he's been doing it. So many times the plays he can generate seem to change. Oh no, man! You! You! What his passing brings to the steal. Great anticipation and awareness to come up with the steal and trigger the fast break. Wow, now it's just a one possession game thanks to that quick hitter. Fantastic basketball on the open floor. Favors with a screen on Rubio. Dawkins kicks to Favors. Ah. Well, Pepperidge might be the strongest player in the league. 6'11", 285, power lifters physique. It's impossible to move once he gets position. The drive by Rubio, and a high hook over there for Wiggins, and no good, and a chance to take the lead. Let's go, go, go! <laughs> Here's Dawkins. 
He's got 18. Last angles. Three pointer. Burks can't get it to go. The Timberwolves trade. Rubio outside. Over to the wing. And Jay has to miss it that time. And that will be his third foul so far. Garnett, the screen. Mark from the pass to Garnett. Just five on the clock. Here's Wiggins. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Utah's gotten a three-point shot off 16 times tonight. Seven times they've hit it. Nine times they've missed. Pass to Garnett. Jack's at the three. Ah. Garnett grabs the miss. Garnett's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Rubio with it. And Burks picks him up defensively. And it's Rubio penetrating. And Bekovic hits to Wiggins. With a tie. And it's Bekovic missing. Utah leading. Why do I keep stopping? What's stopping me? Oh, she's been this today. And luckily for them, a lot of his teammates have come through. Bekovic. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. Great job right there to body him up and affect the trajectory of that shot. <laughs> nice. Like he couldn't get off the shot he wanted. Right back to the basics there, using the one-hand slam for that. Doesn't he make the basics a pretty exception? Yeah, he does. They look sweet when he does it. But uh, he should stay with those basics in a tight ball game because uh, we've got one here tonight. Martin gets to Wiggins. Uh-oh. The Timberwolves again can't hit. And this is not move, move. I don't understand what what's wrong with my controller, either my controller or my or my player, but he doesn't move. Dawkins, the best Easy layup after coming off the pit. And now a six-point jazz lead. Minnesota's gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4 oh. to the left side wing. That's a quick screen. Wiggins dishes to Garnett. Fades away. And he gets it to go. Garnett's got four points this quarter. Guys, he shot a very good percentage today. Now that I think about it. Here's Dawkins. He's got 18. Oh. Past angles. But Trey. And he knocks it down. Good looking free there from Dawkins. Dawkins has got 21 in the game. Timberwolves trail by seven. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they had a number of empty ones a long time without pass. They gotta find some new right. Here's Pekovic. Shakes off a strong D and kicks the bucket for two. Pekovic has got six points. The Jazz have gone just a bit under 50% from the field since halftime. Five out of 11. Dawkins, Dawkins against Rubio. Rubio. Dawkins, Dawkins kicks to Burks. And he banks in the way. 11 points in the game. Really tough to get that shot off with the size differential there. It's not an individual matchup he's going to win every time, especially in the post. Very well done. I don't think he had any business operating down there with the big fellas. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Well, guys, Kevin Garnett is at the tail end of what has been a Hall of Fame career. Doc Rivers won a title to win in Boston and simply can't say enough. As Coach Doc says, I get very emotional. He's the best teammate, the most unselfish superstar I've ever been around. Every coach should be able to coach an AG just once to see what a true team player should be. Kevin, what a compliment. A guy you love to play with and hate to play against. Doris, thanks. Ah. Oh, good with the triple. Don't know why I faded. I didn't need that much to be needing to fade. Rubio outside. Feeds it to Garnett. In the corner, it's Martin. A three-pointer, no good. For Utah, they've gone at a pretty good shooting pace. They're 6-13 from the field here in the third. 
Favors gets a screen from Dawkins. Dawkins, a screen on Garnett. Here's Favors, and again it's Utah. He had a whole lot of space to get that shot off. Yeah, I don't think the defender did a good job there of getting over the top of the screen. Knocks it loose. A solo fast break. Here's Dawkins, all alone, and Favors finishes it off. I don't know why it keeps slowing me down every time on offense and on defense. I'm slipping and sliding. Today set a good example for the rest of his team. Dawkins against Rubio, and she gets the whistle that time. Oh, wait, you mean I got fouled? Or I did the foul? Great job setting him down. For Nikola Bogdanovich. Let's go. You're in. Dang, well time. Utah leading by 13. Work kicks to Exum. Outside Wilson. There's the feed to Burr. Shot clock at six. And here we go. Fast play. Wait, why'd you stop? That's the way you creep back into a game. Get those key stops, push it down the floor with your transition game. Oh, excellent here. Am I the shooting guy? Hawkins check in. Oh. Target from three point range. It's just you. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, I won't be making that mistake anymore. Here's Dawkins. He's got 21. He dishes it to Exum. Exum off a bit from Dawkins. Got it. Nice one there from Exum. He has seven. Ran his man straight into that screen to open the lane up for the hoop. And it's Martin penetrating. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Jazz leading by 10. Now eight seconds separate the two clocks. Here's Dawkins, averaging 28 points a game. Here's Millsap. And Booker takes to Exum, passes to Dawkins. Here's Evans. Oh, wow. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. Jazz lead by 10. And we'll get it. I had absolute confidence that you could hit that shot, and you almost did. We never get that lucky bounce every year. Oh, full court pass. Well, seeing how slow I am, I guess that's effective. Dawkins is in at the point. Put out there with Trevor Booker. Then it's Jeremy Evans. And it's Exum in at the shooting guard. Five to shoot. Dawkins, the pass to Hood. And he drops that one in. Hood's got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for the Jams. Timberwolves trail by 12. And Leo picks to mark. Here's Dan. Oh, wow. He just slipped right past the Jazz. Booker's got his fifth rebound in this one. Such a solid What's wrong with my inside character that just keeps doing it? Yeah, that's just one of the few things that, that have gone their way today. Pass to Dawkins. Kicks it to X. Shot clock at six. Uh, uh. Not with his food. Minnesota shooting. Stop holding still. Stop. Why? Is something wrong with my controller? Is it my controller that's doing it? Here's Neil. Is it because it's uh, it dying? Or is that's it dead? Right, One second, guys.
I need to check that real quick. No. That's not what I wanted to do. Hmm. Hopefully the charging it will allow it to work. Uh, honestly, I don't know what's wrong with it. By the jazz. Booker's got six rebounds here tonight. Oh my goodness, why does he keep holding still? Dawkins kicks to Exum. I wonder how long this has been happening. For three. Here's Evans. Neal pulls it in. You know, he can be a little hesitant near the rim. We saw it there. If the defense offers just a little bit of resistance, he doesn't take it up quite strong enough. Jazz leading by 12. Like it's running a bit smoother. Score to a play, about two minutes in now. Dawkins gets to Exum. Pass to Dawkins. Let's it go from 11. There's the bucket good. Dawkins has got 23. And they have to mix it up defensively. That was just too easy. Just under two. Oh, no. Wow. And that is good. Utah has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. There's the pick. And Connor, that foul. For the Give me and one. Beautiful job angling his body, shielding the big man from the ball on his way to the basket. That's really the only way to do it if you take it down there amongst the tall trees. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Nikola Pekovic is checked in for Gorgie Dan. Garnett comes in for Anthony Bennett. Wiggins is checked in for Kevin Martin. And Rick Rubio is checked in for Gary Neal. Rubio outside. And it's Wiggins with him. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but in the rebounding department too, Clark. Yeah, it's been a really gritty performance. They'll have some bruises to show for it, but that's the way it should be. You should feel that you've competed when you do that work inside. Dawkins, the best angles. Dawkins kicks to Burks. Here's Gobert. Shot is no good. And Minnesota will come the other way. And now with the fast break, Rubio with the ball. What the? Why does it keep stopping? He literally stops. And I'm not sure if it's my character or if it's the remote. That's the worst thing. I really hope it's just my character because I can't afford a new remote. If it's my character, I could just change the stats. This is it to Rubio. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for Utah. You know, one of the big scores has been the three ball. It's been a key part of their offense throughout the game. And their passing also continues to be outstanding. Right, let me try it without pressing the R. We're really seeing a good, efficient offense as a result of that ball. Okay, nothing. Now the pass to Ingles. Here's Dawkins. What's up a three? Good. Dawkins has got eight here in the quarter. Wow. Wow. What a great performance from him. He's hit three in each half. Uh-oh. I'm sorry, bro. That's my fault. Opportunity Clark to chip away at the deficit. Yeah, and doing it with the dunk is a major energizer, too. Gets the momentum going. Yeah, and I think the interior defense... It's good a job offensively as, as we saw. The defensive presence was almost non-existent. And they may see this lead disappear if they continue to give up those easy points. Oh man. He just decided to cut back at the right time. Now here's Muhammad. He's guarded closer. And he gets it to go. And once again, my guy decides to slow down. Seems like they're on their heels every time defensively because the See? ball continues not to go in the post. Well, I mean, it didn't happen that time. It only happens when I try to use Kerber. Dawkins against Rubio. Passes it to Ingles. 
Ooh, nice read of the screen. Oh my goodness. And here's Ruby. Oh my goodness. I hate that skating thing. Now there's something for the top 10 highlight reel right there. A layup can be just as sweet and as pretty as a dunk sometimes. Dawkins, the boss to Burks. Burks off a bit from Dawkins. Out to the right wing. Ah. The chance of Ken can hit it. That's one he knows he should have made. Wiggins dishes to Garnett. Feeds to Rubio. Looking for Pekovic, he gets it there. And he trims the lead to single digits. Pekovic has got four this quarter. And they have gotten themselves back into this game just in the nick of time. If that run had come any later, it would have been too late. They're not all the way where they need to be yet, Steve. They've got to keep pushing through. Dawkins kicks to Burks. They set the pin. Passing out to Burks. Dawkins, the pass to Ingles. Puts it from three-point range. And the Jazz lead by 11. This defense is giving their shooters free reign to operate from the end the That's right. I think it's time for them to start closing down. They've got to run shooters off that three-point range. Rubio with it. Now guarded by Dawkins. Begovic with the screen for Rubio. Jumper off the screen. Oh, and man. I was looking for that personal foul. Didn't get it. And then I was looking to guard him. He managed to pass me at the last second. And made the shot as soon as he had enough. He was in front of me. Here's Dawkins. Works with it. Pass to Dawkins. Oh, wait Huh? Yeah. Again with the bucket. He's been working the some magic right. out there today, guys. This lead has been largely his making. Timberwolves trail by 11. Rubio outside. There's Muhammad. That's in. Coming off an assist from Rubio. That's where you like to get shots inside and close to the hoop. Utah has gone two of five on three point shots since the end of the third quarter. Here's Dawkins. He dishes it to Burks. The Jazz need to get off a shot here. And again, it's the Jazz from deep. That's far too good a look to give them from behind the arc. Well, that's three of the last five makes. Behind the three point line, so gotta make some adjustments defensively. And it's Rubio penetrating. Garnett kicks to Rubio. Here's the dish to Wiggins. The Timberwolves need to get a shot off here. And that's out of bounds. Minnesota will retain possession. Maybe a low percentage pass, but it still nearly got through. I like it, though. I mean, it's an aggressive play. Heads up defending to deflect it away. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Buttons check in. He's off from 17 feet. You just assume he's going to knock those down when he's as open as he was there. Passes to Ingles. Here's Dawkins. Go there, the pass to Dawkins. Here's Fabers. No good. They do that time from Bekovic. Timberwolves trail by 12. Rubio outside. Martin dishes to Rubio. Kicks it to Wiggins. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. The Timberwolves again can't hit. And the defense did a pretty good job of closing off the middle once he got inside the lane. Rubio comes with the double team. Push through, push through. Ah. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. Don't know why you did that spinning rotation. Rubio with it. Now defended by Dawkins. Martin kicks to Bekovic. Goes up the baseline. And he gets the bucket. Ten points have been. Two minutes on the clock. No too close to this. 
Jazz leading by 10. They double in with Wiggins. Ingles passes to Dawkins. Six to shoot. That's oh, my goodness. And now the Timberwolves on the board. Rubio's got the ball. Puts up the baby hook. And it's Wiggins missing. I think the game plan needs to change here, guys, if they're going to get out of the hole because he is not helping their offense. Pass to Dawkins. 139 left to play here in the fourth. They get the rebound. That's good. Nice. And the Jazz lead by 12. But the defense just looked a little lazy on the glass there. Yeah, nobody boxing out. That's inexcusable. Rubio versus Dubekovic. And Rubio kicks to Martin. That's good. It's Rubio with the assist. Martin's got it back down to within single digits for the Timberwolves. Utah has gone beyond the arc seven times here in the fourth and been successful three times. Right back at you. They have got to get a hand in this face. I mean, he's unconscious from out there. Minnesota's gone one or two from three-point range here in the fourth. Well, clearly, we will not be witnessing a spirited comeback tonight. One second, guys. Ah. As exciting as that would be, and I think this was an excellent game for the Jazz. It was like watching a three-point shooting contest tonight. I have my cousins with me, guys, so you might be hearing some uh, other people in the room. Just let like you know. Yeah. After a number of battles over the course of this season, no. <laughs> there ain't no Swayze in this game. You know, the actual result of this game. Andrew, look back and see this was just a monstrous performance for Jay. Yeah, put it on YouTube. Nobody could do anything really. Yeah, all one of them. <laughs> oh, look at that open man. Look at this. Ooh, just look at how quickly the lead is growing over the course of the last few yeah. possessions. They really saved their best for last, haven't they? John, Wolf, Jay now. Jay, when it comes to basketball, because you know I'd be storing. Aha! Oh, got it. Ah! Yep. From 13, and again it's Utah. Well, guys, tonight they came in here and really dictated the terms of the engagement, which is very difficult to do as yeah, a Yeah, I'm part of the Jazz. You're right. That's not usually the way you walk in the NBA. It's a great win and no question. I had no choice. <laughs> I did not pick the Jazz. I had no choice. <laughs> I wasn't even a draft pick. That's how bad I was in the beginning. All right, Doris, thank you very much. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Ryan thanking you for tuning in. Now it's time to first. Can't put another player in there? Uh, not on mine, no. I don't think so. Mm. <laughs> so, how you guys doing today? <laughs> okay, let's go Ooh, over to the man on the aisle. What's your question? <laughs> what are you doing? Are you taking PR? PR for what? You had a tough time taking care of the ball. Why? There's actually no excuse. I have to be more deliberate with the ball. Never be careless with the ball in this league. Teams will make you pay. And that's what happened tonight. I got to be more careful. 
You there. Next, Next question. question. Do you feel like you've been taking too many shots from long range lately? Maybe. I don't know. But I do know if I'm going to be taking a lot of threes, I better be making some like I did tonight. It felt good to see the ball go through the hoop, though. You, sir? Well, it's no secret you're approaching free agency. Do you plan to give a hometown discount if they make an offer? You know, I'm not really concerned with that, all right? I just want to finish the season off nice and strong and let my agent deal with the numbers. You mean to tell me you're the only professional athlete who doesn't care about money? That's not what I said. I said I let my agent deal with the numbers. You may not believe this, but all of us just don't sit up at night dreaming about how much bank we can make. Some of us just want to play the game. Run with good teammates and compete for a title. I mean, it might blow your mind, but I'm just trying to hoop, bro. Does that answer your question? So I thought. Thank you. That's what I thought. Thank you. That's not what I said. All right, guys, if you enjoyed, please leave a like, follow me on Twitch, or subscribe to me on YouTube for more content like this. I have a list of videos on there, so if you're interested, check them out. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>